hello hello guys um once again welcome back to another video this is brombo from creative effects um if you're new here please click the subscribe button and um if you are an existing user please don't forget to like and comment uh, let me know what you think about this video and if there is um anything that you want me to explain just tell me and i'll do a video on that all right so this is just a quick recap on um a setup that i sent on my telegram channel about volatility 10 1s so for those who are not on my um telegram channel or who would like to see the setup i'm just gonna pop up the screen and show you how the setup was looking like so as you can see this is how the setup was looking um in my anticipation um i was expecting the market to pull back a little bit and then buy all the way up to sort of um that point there where um we see the previous or last high that was recorded from a higher time frame all right so this was my expectation and as you can see uh, this is me um, trading the pair and like i said i'm gonna be showing you some of my entries and on some pairs i mean i may not trade them but i may have given you a setup for you to um, find an entry and take the pair so now let's go back to the chart and see um, how the chart looks like so this is the chart guys and um what happened on that particular day or where the price was um price was on this green candle right here so this green candle that you see right there this is where price was during that time and i anticipated that market is going to pull back and in this case the market didn't pull back on the very same day but decided to pull back on the following day now as you can see um, the market kept on going up so if you had taken an entry immediately when i gave the setup definitely you are going to wear out a bit of um, some loss all the way up to there um, so all you needed was to wait for the market to pull back before the market goes up so what we are essentially looking for is um a w on your um m15 now if i move to the m15 you realize that um the market gave a very nice w over there a very nice w over there so obviously you're gonna take it at the close of um uh um 13 emma sorry about that and aim your first tp over there so this was gonna be your first tp um like i said this pair is gonna go all the way um up to up top there where my tp is currently but you can um put your tps wherever you want this is this can be your first tp and then you get out you know volatilities they do pay and sometimes the market might consolidate here and then continue going up and then tomorrow continue going up or the market can just continue going straight up so there are so many varieties to price but the good thing was getting an entry here now why was i expecting an entry somewhere there it's because i was expecting the market to interact with the 50 ema i was expecting the market to interact with the 50 ema at the same time interacting with the previous high all right interacting with the previous high now if you look at it you will find that um had we seen the market over here we could have taken the buy and we were gonna be just on a little bit loss when the market comes back down but um we already found it it was over there so which is why i expected the market to pull back um but someone may ask and say um how did you get to see that this pair was gonna buy 
which is the real question why I made this video. All right, so getting back into it, number one, you want to know what's going on from uh, your higher time frames. So from the higher time frames, if you look at um, W1, sorry, I'm just going to refresh my um, template a little bit so that um, we take out um, those white lines. So here it is, guys. Um, if we move to the W1 time frame, as you can see now, all the information that you can get out of this is that the market has been on a an ending sell at the moment. Um, at the same time, if you look at it, you'll find that your market has been buying for those who um, use um, trend lines. If you put your trend line over there, you'll find that your market has been uh, buying. Sorry, I'm not good with the trend lines. I'm so bad. I'm trying to show you that the market has been on an uptrend or going up, even though there's been instances where it has decided to sell, but it has been showing that it is actually going up. So in this case, I'm not going to say, yes, the market will buy up simply because I just put a trend line there. That's not the whole analysis. Here on W1, I want to find the true direction of the market. Where is the market heading? And again, you also want to look at the last peak recorded and of which the last peak recorded is this one from the way it looks. So it means the market is trading away from that peak. That is the only peak that we can see in this chart. The market is trading away from that. All right. Now, after having found the direction um, from W1 or the overall direction, um, also knowing that the market is in a sell trend, you just want to um, check your D1 and see what your D1 is doing. Now, in this instance, your D1 is actually on a buy all right now the d1 being on a buy if you look at it carefully you'll find that your closest peak is this one now remember what i said if this becomes your closest peak now that means this peak right here is of no use any data after that is of no use what you now look at is from here going that way all right so you you go down and now when i say it's of no use i'm not saying disregard it i'm simply saying you are now on d1 you can't use that data it's in the old all right <clears throat> now looking at um uh d1 as is you can actually tell that d1 is actually moved um one and two so d1 has given us a double top M with a longer leg, dropped down and consolidated and dropped down and now is on a consolidation. So what are you expecting? You're expecting D1 to go down. So which is why we're saying D1 is going to go down. However, before D1 breaks either this trend line that I put or before it um, breaks this last law that you see right here it is supposed to buy for some time because it is on level two you are expecting the market to do a continuous buy before it sells so we are just taking advantage of a counter trade because we are on a higher time frame all right so these are the kind of uh, trades where you take them and then you take a look at higher time frames and see that you are still in line. Because remember, we don't have big or huge monies to get in and hold for a long time, even if the pay goes on a loss and, you know, etc. So this is the reason why we can even do counter um, trend knowing that the market is going in a certain direction but at the moment we just want to trade in a different direction so this is the reason why we are taking the buy um, aiming to go there and get out and wait for a sell all right because on day one it shows us that we have only done two 
levels so we expect the level three now well someone may come here and say um how about we say this is one consolidation two and then consolidation and three and then this is a peak well there's different variations to um, the market however i cannot personally take that as a level i cannot take this as a level because it is just too small for me the time frame that i'm working on is a very big time frame so i expect big moves away from levels for me to show that i'm actually moving at a certain direction and what's happening here at the moment is actually a way to trap traders into taking um buy positions so that the market can swipe left on them for example if you look at this one right here you've got a nice um reset there you've got a big push away you've got a big push away you've got a big push away into a peak formation so that is what you are looking at you are looking at um strong visible uh pushes away um from the other levels for you to tell that okay the market has actually moved significantly into a new level okay now going back to our analysis so i've drawn a trend line there but like i said i'm not gonna um, focus on a trend line i'm just focusing on price going up so i knew that price was gonna react in this area because it has been doing so gradually going up but even though i know that it is time to break um, that area or resistance or support whatever you want to call it i know that price is now supposed to break that but before it breaks that it's gonna give us a buy setup and then the sell the peak for a sell that we are going to see probably in this area is gonna be a massive one so i'll then have to take a very good um entry and just let it go down all right now so i'm here and then i move to four hour now on four hour i am looking at the previous peak don't mind these um red boxes i don't know why i'm failing to get rid of them um don't mind all this so if you look at this from just just by looking at it I can tell that um, we've got a couple of moves of the market and some of these levels that you see here, these ones are actually uh, one hour levels. Um, but if you wanna count four hour levels, you can count this whole move as a level. You can count this whole move as a level. You can count that whole move as a level and then this is a consolidation and that is a consolidation um let me rub in and draw it a little bit nicely so i'm saying you can count this as a whole move then consolidation move consolidation move into a peak then into a reset all right and then the same thing again the market goes down comes back up to a reset and then it goes one move then it goes two move and then it goes three move and then what does the market do the market forms a peak now after forming a peak the market moved up today and then it came back down now the market has hit three hits um to the low in the same spot as we had seen from the four hour now pay attention because some of you will say um i still don't know how to count levels we are in the four hour we are only looking for big pushes all right big pushes of price that is what we are aiming for so anything that pushes price towards a certain direction is what we are looking for because we now know the direction of the market is a sell but we want to take advantage of the buy all right so then when we get here we know this is a peak now knowing that this is a peak it simple means we have counted levels but all this information is void at the moment now we want to focus on what we are seeing here all right so i'm just gonna wrap everything and then put my um box right here so we know for sure that there is a peak formation lying around here and we know that if there is a four hour peak formation there's definitely a one hour peak formation so that is what we want to find out now so as far as four hours is concerned 
the market is actually buying because it is at a peak formation low. All right. Now, which is why we say this is level two or D1. Okay. Now, moving on to level one. Um, all right. Sorry about that. So, this is where we were. And just by casting my eyes, even though I know this whole thing is a peak formation, but just by casting my eyes, I can tell that there is a small peak there and there is also a small peak there all right so i'm gonna push this for our box to the other side so i'm now regarding this as my peak formation why am i saying it's a peak formation right we've got a peak there we've got our first push into consolidation we've got a second push into consolidation we've got a pullback back into level one we've got a pullback same day back into level two all right and then we stay there then the following day we push for the third time so if we want to count our moves we've got move one we've got move two we've got move three all right so these are all our moves now this is our peak formation remember peak formation we would chop price and this is exactly what it did so it means now now that i know the market is at a peak formation on h1 um all this is d1 trying to find balance and create um sort of a level there all right but four hours actually at a peak formation and one hour is at a peak formation so what i then saw or what i then focus on is from this peak going forward now everything else at the back I will no longer regard it because now I have confirmed that I'm in a peak formation. So what do I want to see price do? I want to see price rise. All right. Now, if I then zoom to this place right here to see what is going on. Now, this being my peak formation, this becomes my first move out of that area. All right. So this is going to be one. And the market pulls back into a consolidation. And then the market moved two, but then stopped right there. Remember, there's an Asian section box right here. So the market stopped right there. So it's as good as to me, it hasn't really moved. I still need to see that push. So this is the reason why I ended up having a buy because I had seen that, just gonna zoom it again. I had seen that um, price has moved right here and price is at an asian box sorry i don't know why my asian box didn't print here price is sort of at an asian box right here all right and has moved up and down and so price to me it's as good as it's still sitting in that level there so then what then happens is you then get price coming out and the next thing I saw this green candle go up. So we were here when I identified it. So I knew that I have one and I'm seeing two going on. So what am I expecting? I am expecting price to pull down for me and interact with the 50 EMA. Then I will take my trade from there. Now price decided to move up and then come back down to the 50 EMA so this is where price was and this is where you are supposed to take your buy I've already shown you where exactly you are supposed to enter with your buy on M15 so this is where you're supposed to take your buy and just let price go all the way up so this is just how guys I took the um, V10S trade or this is just how I had seen how this pay is supposed to play out now another big question is should someone keep holding number one i will say yes in the sense that the market i'm expecting it to form to move stop and then give me that third push up to that point there all right so i'll say yes hold the market will get there the second answer will be no do not hold get your your target and go out reason being remember 
higher time frames are on a downtrend we are actually in level two um drop for d1 so what the market is going to do what i think the market might also do is just to push there and then stop right there just give us a small um rise or just consolidate and give us a small rise and then decides to push down and not even reach those areas so if you are counter trading you need to have that in mind that the market may decide to turn around anyway close rather than going all the way up there so you are trading with caution knowing that in as much as i'm making money this is not going to be for a long time now as you can see um if i zoom a little bit sorry i thought it was going to make it a little bit smaller but you can see the trend line that i had put is sitting right there that trend line is the one that i put on w1 and d1 it's sitting right there showing you that the market that is a peak formation on h1 anyway thank you very much guys i hope you understand um how this trade uh, was supposed to play out and again thank you for listening to this and hoping you are learning something cheers Thank you.